side, as I mentioned before. So, are we going to see any uh, fast pushes? That's exactly what is the case from Na'Vi. Going through mid towards a Neo. Gets himself Glock trained down with a burst fire. That's a lovely shot from Edward. Also onto Bialy, who now snacks from the back side. And he's coming to try and get that frag. Edward's already picked himself up three. He's on the prowl for a fourth kill. Onto Snacks, and that's a beautiful one click from Edward. Awesome round from him. Bomb's going to get planted as well. Na'Vi starting off very, very confidently indeed. Buzz, you just joining us, Na'Vi did lose the first map. It was their choice. It was Mirage. I have the worst memory in the world, but it was like 16-11, I think. Edward. Just a beast in that last round. They're going to be hoping that he continues that form forward. Guardian with the Galil just strolls out of pa platform and gets himself a headshot. Flamey's going to get himself one as well, but here's Bjarli from behind the site. And the retaliation in from the Pauls, but they are falling fast. As Bjarli also gets himself headshotted from Seize. They got themselves three kills, but that was a force up from the Virtus Pro side. Another few SMGs are picked up for Na'Vi. It was 1611, there you go. I honestly do have the memory of a goldfish. Grenades are coming in thick and fast, but Pasha is standing tall and he is still alive. Courtesy of the frag from Bialy, and Seas just goes straight through drop zone with the Mac 10, and he's putting that to good use with the Neon Rider, just smashing everybody left, right, and center. Taz to his right hand side, and Seas gets his third. Very quick pace rounds, all going to Narvi, but this is the moment when Virtus Pro will try to build that roadblock to pop the tyres of Narvi's bus. Going to be keeping themselves one MP7 on Zeus. The rest of them have an AK-47. Goldfish actually have good memories. That I've been lied to my entire life. My life is a lie, apparently. Grenades coming through. Neither of them really land onto Taz too bad. And Taz does get himself a kill before Seas comes in. And then... It's just back and forth. The CT's coming out ahead there. And RV have dropped the bomb towards mid. Last three remaining players are on mid side. Bomb carrier, Guardian, going in first. AK-47 in hand. It's a pretty static setup from VP, but a very effective one. Bjarli, <laughs> you've seen that. Wooden plank to save himself from a HE. And uh, it definitely paid off for him. Neo is going to make the most of Guardian's position as he pushes in there. And gets himself one. And a second kill as well. It's now all down to Edward. First of he's hoping many. But the bomb is just across the map. And it's going to be very difficult for him to make up that much room and that much space in 20 seconds. Especially considering there are... Three players still alive and kicking, one of which is Bialy, who has put Edward down. I think GoTV's having some issues. Some noises from the mic. Hmm. I hope not. I mean, obviously, other than my voice, because that would be awkward. Guardian with the AWP. He's going to be trying to train his sights onto a long. Nobody's around that corner. Meanwhile, there is action kicking off across the board. Lots of spraying coming into and fro. Neo's pushed himself into a position where he could pounce on a number of players. There's the first one to fall. It's used, but that man, Guardian, has returned fire. Speaking of fire, seized through down a Molotov, I believe, onto drop zone. Kind of force back the CT defenders. It was effective, but there's no follow-up afterwards, so it just buys them a couple more seconds, really. And again, Pasha, he was in this position last time, and I was saying that they were going for a static defense. And I assume that Pasha's going to use this position until he 
ends up having to use it in terms of getting kills from that and then trying to be unpredictable and move into different positions afterwards but he's going to go for a peek now Ceased is still there laid in wait and Pasha could find himself on the receiving end of a battering of that AK-47 indeed he will and even though I think he dink seized in that confrontation down to seven he still does die Bialy and Snacks do bounce back and give the Virtus Pro boys a player advantage but that's suddenly been taken out of their hands as it's down to a one-on-one -on -one. Flamey against Bialy, 10 seconds on the timer. Flamey has that bomb, but he has to cross. And in doing so, he's putting himself in the sights of Bialy, but Flamey still gets the kill. And Na'Vi pick up a 4-1 lead. And those were rounds that Virtus Pro were winning on Mirage. Sights of Bialy. Okay, then. I just got some random echo. Sweet. That was weird. Into round six we go. All technical difficulties aside. This pro now going to find themselves in uh, familiar territory here on an eco. Pasha pushing aggressive. He's been in this position a bunch of times already. So not really going to know this. But it's such an effective position if you can get those quick fire headshots from the CZ. It's not going to happen this time around as Pasha is the first to fall. Taz is second. And now B is being aggressed on heavily from Na'Vi. Guardian with a nice entry. And bomb will be planted. And this is going to be the 5-1. Bomb has been planted. There's Edward. Uh, Neo is in hallway. Flamey's going to be the first player to bump into him. He has heard Flamey moving around. In fact, it could be Zeus that's the first. Nope, Zeus backs on off towards the site. Makes a bit of noise there on the drop. I'm not sure what Neo's looking for. Oh, he's trying to get around the back of them. Well, pretty much walked into a firing range there. Watching your own stream. It could have been that, actually. When I got my chat up, maybe the stream just randomly turned itself back on again, even though it was paused. I don't know what it was, guys. I apologise. Shouldn't happen again. There could be some lags. I've been having problems with GoTV. Today and yesterday as well. Could also be on Twitch's end, so you may need to refresh your stream if you're having consistent issues. But either way, here in the seventh round, but it's probably going for another eco. And I'm going to try and finish strong here on the CT side. Bialy gets himself a kill to bring it back to an all even affair, but it's anything but even when you take into account all the weapons that are on the side. Of Na'Vi, but that being said, they are still getting frags and Guardians down to 6 HP, so this is not impossible for VP, and whereas before they had no weapons, now they've got themselves two AK-47s to work with. And Taz with the P250 was on the hunt for another kill, but Edward too fast with the MP7. Bomb has planted. And Edward gets yet another kill. Looking for a third. Flashbang is going to connect, but there's Pasha. 2v1. He has no defuse kit, so he's going to have to get his skate on here if he wants to try and clutch this round. And no, he's going to save the weapon instead. Save it for a rainy day. I think Flamey's doing great. Was he would. He's one of those players that... Since I started casting the GoCL games here on my channel... Flamey has been probably the most consistent player from Na'Vi that I've seen. I'd say overall, he's more than likely been the most consistent player. Let's see how he's performing this time. 6 for 3. Edwards top fragging 11 and 4. On Virtus Pro, Bialy 6 and 6. The rest of the scoreboard's looking a bit, mm, a bit sparse. But when it's 6-1, you're kind of expecting that to be the case. But here we go. They went for Ecos. And they now have themselves some weapons alongside that AK-47 that was saved up from Pasha. He was going to go into the same position once again, but he's going to be flashing it across, banking that off the box. And going back to that same position once more. Zeus with the bomb. He's on long. And whereas Virtus Pro before were getting picked off from Na'Vi, it was mainly down to the fact they're on eco and... Just desperation peaks, trying to get information, trying to get a lucky headshot here or there with the 5.7 and get themselves a weapon on the board. Now that they have themselves a full 
buy up of weapons, they can afford to just stay back now. They don't have to peek. They're on the CT side after all. You just have to wait for the terrorists to come on to the sites. Neo is the most aggressive player at this point. He's just hiding in mid. He did hear some movement to his right hand side, which he's going to call to the rest of his team. You can see that there is a stack up from Bialy and Pasha. And yeah, Pasha has been there too many times. He's given his position away and he gets cooked down. It's a Pasha barbecue. And in kind, that, that leaves B so, so vulnerable. Taz has had to rotate himself back, but it's a 2 on 4. Neo was trying to snake himself into a position where he could shut down a couple players from behind, but he also gets found out. And some way, somehow, Virtus Pro have a 2 on 2 with 10 seconds to spare. Flamey's died with the bomb, and that's probably the round unless Seize gets both of these kills, and he's not going to do so. 2 to 6. I thought the Pasha barbecue was going to end that round for Virtus Pro. It was going to be their fate sealed. But no, they hang on for dear life. It was looking like a really precarious round for them. But individual brilliant shines through once again. Please don't talk about barbecue. I'm hungry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Noobstar. I'm sorry, bro. But that's the issue with going to the same place over and over again. It does get predictable, and those Molotovs just are devastating. And you could see the Pasha just panicked. He was like, well, if I stay here, I'm dead. If I peek, I'm dead. So I'm just boned either way. Hey, at least he went down in the barbecue, so... Sacrificing his life to feed others. Good guy, Pasha. Comes out of it. Again, I, it's a bit, a bit weird that Neil would be peeking that spot because he's just given his life away. And then Snacks tried to fill in the gap and then he nearly dies. Flamey's going to get the pick off onto Pasha who was forced to try and rotate towards A because the call would have came through that they were vulnerable and needed some assistance. So that's really the impact that one mistake can make. It has this rippling effect. It's Chaos Theory 101. Now Tiger Edward. With it all to do. In a two versus one. He somehow has manages to escape with his tail between his legs. Nax gives him an opportunity to strike. He's going to be faking that bomb. And he can just about see the top of the head of Snacks. I thought he could anyway. And apparently not. He is going to go and plant the bomb. And a second time of asking and gets the headshot. On to Snacks. Who should have had the kill when Edward pushed across. Surely when he went back to the site. After killing his teammate. I expected Snacks to spray him down. Like no issues whatsoever. But, no. And it's a lot of really odd peaks. Pause coming in. Not too short the reason for this is. Uh, if it lasts for too long, then I will alt tab to Skype. No, it has been unpaused. So back on track again. Mac 10 for C's. It's going to be very effective against the full eco up of Virtus Pro, which now you're going to know because Virtus Pro have dipped into the back pocket way too many times for them not to be in this position. If you want the crosshair, guys, look below in the FAQs. I've put my entire crosshair commands below for you. Guardian, get Snacks who is trying to hide in the corner and capitalize on any. Lapses in concentration, and the aforementioned Mac 10 is doing work. Neo is the only player that has retaliated with a frag of his own. But he also gets dropped, and it's all on Pasha, who's in drop zone. Bombs been planted on A, so he's looking for this frag on to see if he gets it. I was going to say, if he gets the kill, there's a good chance that he could have saved that weapon as well, because Seize was so far away from the rest of his team. But wasn't to be. And Virtus Pro getting desperate, realizing that eight rounds already for Na'Vi is way too many for them to be comfortable. They've gone for three Mag 7s. Three with two M4s. Now, where are they going to be running with those Mag 7s? Neil's got one towards mid. 
Pasha's in the same position as as I switch across, it's Taz who's doing the damage on drop zone. Apologies for missing those kills. It's typical. Scrubcaster, report me please, thanks. Looking for his third, and he could definitely get this one on Zeus if he keeps peeking that way. I think Zeus realises that may not be the greatest of uh, ideas and is going to wait for the rest of his team to fill in. Now, if memory serves me correctly, the first map of Mirage went 7-8 to Na'Vi on T-side as well. So maybe history is going to repeat itself. Maybe, just maybe, as Zeus drops down. Action coming over onto B-side. Double frags has changed. Edward somehow is picking up kills. In positions that you'd expect him to die in. And that's two this round. And he was able to pick up the AK-47 from one of the corpses of his teammates. And the bomb has been planted in this three on two. Oh, this is another round that Furtis Pro desperately need to win. This will be the third or fourth time that they've been in a position where you'd expect them to take a round. And it's just gone. And there we go. Snacks moves in. Gets the two and the defuse. And he is joint top with Taz on nine apiece. Meanwhile, Edward 18 for six. He has been having a phenomenal T side here on Cobblestone. Seized has been no slouch on 10 and 6. And they really do need more of those moments. Uh, Mr. Crywolf, I do play CS, yes. Um, LEM on my main. That's also below in the FAQ section. I've played a lot of CS. Uh, over three accounts, I think about 3,000 hours in total, I guess. I love this game. Maybe there's a few more chapters to be written by Virtus Pro on this half because currently it's looking bad but I remember thinking and saying the exact same thing on Mirage and look how that turned out for them 16-11 if VP can win this round as well it would be more than likely Na'Vi on an eco so not to look too far in the future but this round could very well be worth two, effectively. And Neo is going to be opening up things nicely from VP's perspective with an early frag onto Zeus. I say early, there's only 30 seconds to go with the first frag onto Zeus. And Na'Vi really haven't left themselves a great deal of time to play with. Neo has been picked off and it's going to be a full committed round on A. Guardian with one as well. Onto Snacks. Nice frag from C's. And Arbiali and Pasha. The two... Talisman that VP need to get behind. Eight seconds, the bomb's been dropped. This Guardian. And he's going to save his weapon. He's given up on this round. So four to eight is the scoreline. And VP starting to mount a bit of a comeback. And as I said, the economy is so, so poor from Na'Vi that it's going to be a forced buy-in. And these are not fantastic weapons. Originally, I thought they may even go for an eco. But with that saved AK-47, it gives them a few more options here. So they are going to be forced buying two Tech Nines, three AKs, but very, very few grenades at their disposal. Taz with the Mag 7 is going to be hopping up, and this is actually a, um, a weapon that is very effective in this position. Because you can jump up and you can just straight up take the head off someone's shoulders. And it's a free kill. But he's going to be flashed and now he's going to be forced in. And that's the downside of the Mag 7. If you get overrun and you miss that first shot, it's all over. It's lights out. But Snacks, he's going to catch Zeus as he looks the wrong way. That is a bit of a mistake from Zeus, I've got to say that. There's a lot of angles to look at, but in the complete wrong way this time around. And he's seized all by himself. He's only got 9 HP and again Virtus Pro take down a round and this is going to be yet another eco from Na'Vi or potentially a force buy but I'd be surprised if they force this one up 
We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, so he's going for the Tech-9 and Kevlar without the helmet, just to equalise the economy somewhat so they can all buy next round. That's why I was saying before that that 12th round was effectively 2. Well, with the Force Bite, it was basically 3. And it could turn into a 4th, because Pasha is spraying down players left, right and centre. And there's Bialy, the full house of frags. Bialy with 3, Pasha with 2. And Virtus Pro, who were, what, 8 1 behind just a few moments ago? 8 2 behind, I beg your pardon. And now 6 8 behind. It's still not a great CT half. But I'm getting such a sense of deja vu from the last map. My favourite CSGO player, it's a very tough one to answer. So what else? I'll pick one from each team Snacks and Guardian from these two teams. They're the most enjoyable to watch for me, personally. So, Fipi can just dig in. It seems that maybe Na'Vi are running out of strats, but it's also a case of VP haven't been peaking, getting themselves killed needlessly these last few rounds. And because there's been some forced buys and ecos in, it's been a lot easier for them to just lock the sites down. Nice flash in from Neo, and he is going to be reaping the benefits of said flash with a frag. But meanwhile, across the other side of the map, Na'Vi are doing damage. And back on mid, Neo was picked up. From, I believe that was Edward. Flashbang lands on C's face. And that will deter him from pushing in just yet. 30 seconds. Molotov also just outside a drop zone. It's keeping Na'Vi positions they don't want to be in. Now the bomb's dropped in a horrific, horrific place from Na'Vi's perspective right in front of Bialy on the cusp of platform. Edward's going to fall next and that's probably going to be it. Yes, as far as this half is done and concerned, Virtus Pro pick up five rounds in a row to bring it back to another 7-8, an identical scoreline to how Mirage went when VP went 7-8 behind on their CT side and then just exploded on T side. Will history repeat itself once more? Na'Vi currently 1-0 down in this BO2. As some of you are saying, 8 rounds on T-side is very, very good. That is a solid, solid half from Na'Vi. They will be happy. But considering they were 8-2 ahead, I think they'll also be very disappointed. Because that could have easily been double digits for them, which is a huge psychological boost. But also just purely in terms of round currency, that's also massive. And it could come back to haunt them, because if EP win this pistol round, they're going to be looking to put themselves about 10-8 ahead. And then we're in the same position once more, but flaming. Let's connect the headshot onto Taz, and that's going to put Virtus Pro on the back foot just for a few more seconds. Here comes the rest of that Glock train, steamrolling down the tracks. They have themselves a tech line as well on Pasha. Snacks gets himself through the drop zone, and that's going to be two players dead from his hands. In fact, Neo just came in to nab that one from him. But Snacks is going to go back in for seconds onto Guardian. Guardian gets the upper hand in that exchange. But look at that from Na'Vi. Both players are one shot away from death. 12 and 15 respectively to Seized and Guardian. Bialy's on 8. But Neo with 73. However, it is a pistol round. So a headshot is pretty much all she wrote. Who has the better aim in this exchange? It seems to be going even so far. Neo against Seized. The bomb's planted. Neo should win from this position. And he will indeed do just that with a burst fire. So close. Running a scout on to seize. Let's see where he's going to be running with that one. Straight through mid. Looking for a quick pick. But Virtus Pro have no interest in mid this round. They are looking towards platform. They are looking towards B. In the form of Taz, who's taking point once more. 
with the MP7 in his grasp. Just playing it down to his left hand side. Meanwhile, the rest of Virtus Pro starting to get in to drop Zodo oh, Tiger! The mid air headshot onto Taz is going to give him a weapon as well. And that gives Navi a very brief lifeline because Edward just gets himself picked off, courtesy of Neo's Mac 10. Guardian, however, is going to be firing in with the 5.7. He gets himself to and sees. He's also going to be going huge with the scout and then the knife kill onto Snacks. And again, a round that looked dead set, a certainty for Virtus Pro, slips through the fingers and the Navi pick it up. By two moments of individual brilliance, one from Guardian with his double kill with the 5.7, and then the scout frag, and then the scout tag into a knife from Seized. Unbelievable plays by these two teams. He shanked him, bruv. The VP realising that the weaponry on Na'Vi is not going to be absolutely fantastic. Do force themselves in here with some upgraded pistols and an AK-47 on Taz. Flashbang through. Taz is getting through very easily on platform. Zeus is peeking from drop zone. He gets himself one onto Snacks, who is trying to get round the backside. And everyone I'm switching to is dying. The bomb has been planted, though, from Neo, and in amongst all the action and the chaos. P250 in his hands. He's looking for some kills. He's got one. And that's all he's going to get this round. But the bomb plant did come in, so in that sense, Virtus Pro will be relatively happy. I'm going to get some bank back for their troubles, but that was a forced buy round as well. <laughs> Should just talk like a lad. Yeah, I apologise for that camera control. I thought Guardian was going to be the man that st stood up after that double 5-7 kill, and of course Seize just goes huge. My bad, my bad. I accept that. with the P250. Oh, that's lovely onto Guardian, who hmm, may be taking a leaf out of VPs, but with needless peaks, he was trying to get information. He was trying to get himself on the uh, the scoreboard. And in doing so, he just gift wraps a weapon across to Virtus Pro, who will happily take that on board. It's going to spread the CTs that much thinner. Now have to keep two players on A, two players on B. And that grenade did do fairly significant damage to Snacks and Neo. They're not going to stop just yet. Edward with the Mag-10 gets one. Before he's dropped, that grenade lands by the feet of Snacks, and he's got 29 HP to his name, but the T's still do have the player advantage on their side. Headshot from Seized on mid. So every time it looks like Virtus Pro might just be able to pull away with it, the CTs get themselves on the scoreboard once more. And now Flamey from the back of sight. This is why weapons are so powerful against the eco on CT because you can just dig yourself in and shoot from long range and it should be easy peasy frags and that's exactly what happened. Narvi looked like they were starting to struggle but kept themselves close enough. Just the arm's reach. That knife is please. Gaben please. Thirty-six HP from Guardian. He was trying to peek into mid with the AWP and got punished. Look at Taz again. He's done this so many times. He uses the smoke to push through and get kills. And he nabs himself one and just runs off. Daylight robbery from Taz. His headshot from Snacks. Ooh, Pasha misses a shot that he probably should have landed. He'll be disappointed with that. Does get it on the second time of asking. Very nicely done by him. The important thing is he got the kill. And a 5 and 2 situation, Navi will be thinking about trying to save these weapons, but that's not going to happen. They do get one kill in retaliation, courtesy of Edward's AWP work. But does he really want to try and peek on this site? Especially as that smoke's just landed. That's pretty much just said no. That's put the hand up. And rejected it. So he will be saving on CT spawn. The question is, will he be able to keep that weapon going forward? The idea is to save. 
But you can see they're closing in on his position. Pasha's coming around from long. Bialy up on balcony. And they seem to have a rough idea of where he is. Bialy just tapped across through the wooden panels. And he is going to find the orc. Edward gets one, misses on to Pasha, and does get the kill with the USP, but Snacks shoots through the wooden panels and gets the kill. The thing is, though, that Edward did a fantastic job there of taking down three extra weapons. So even though Virtus Pro are able to get themselves more here, if they were to lose this round, that very well could smash their economy. That could put their economy in tatters. He took about seven to eight thousand dollars worth of money away from Virtus Pro with those those frags. That was painful. That was very painful for Virtus Pro. Even though they got the round, that was painful. Narvi are going to get themselves some weapons on the board. It's not the best of buy ups, but it'll do. Especially considering. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. I was expecting the Guardian was landing that shot. Definitely landing that shot. Gets it onto Neo. Can he go? No, he misses once again onto Pasha. And that is going to be his life lost. I think he'll be a bit disappointed with that one. On another day, they landed both those shots. Not to be this time around. Either way, Virtus Pro. 9 11 behind. But do find themselves a player to the good here in the 21st round. This bomb should be moving itself onto A. They have to be also careful because look at Flamey. He has not been caught and he will deliver the final blow to Bialy. And meanwhile, Taz also gets dropped down. So 35 seconds, Pasha in 1v2. This guy's very good in clutch situations. You can never really bet against him. But this is going to be tough. He's going to go for the Molotov. And in doing so, he leaves himself vulnerable. Rip. First map was won by VP. You can see the top left of your corner, guys. And it was Mirage. 16-11 in the end. So, so far, Na'Vi are not letting history repeat itself. They are keeping the, uh, the pedal down. They're keeping their foot to the ground. Not allowing VP any chance to come up for air. Flashes into drop zone. That's going to force Seize momentarily back. That's a nice smoke. And some more grenades coming in. Zeus is being smashed off that Molotov. So he has to pull himself out of the way. And in doing so, he's opened up drop zone to the entirety of VP. And they are going to be obliging kind. As Bialy gets himself in, but he drops down. Comfortable for Na'Vi in the end this round. Unless something crazy happens. Taz, 6 HP to his name. Trying to get a fortunate shot through... A chicken coop, and he does pay the ultimate price. Looks like it's going to be an eco incoming for VP. And with this weaponry, Navi, you know, on paper you'd say MP9 is not very good and Nova's not very good at all. But you're against an economy. Both those weapons will do serious work in this situation, in this scenario. Especially if you take that Nova into a close claustrophobic environment like Long, like Guardian is doing right now. You saw Taz running with a mag in drop zone, but it appears they're going to be uh, trying to utilize the MP9 here. Has very, very fast fire rate and can mow through people with no armor. That's exactly what he's going to be doing. He gets himself one and a second as well. Pulls out the USP and nearly gets a third. But did enough damage to drop Virtus Pro dangerously low on HP. Neo's on one. A gust of wind would end his life right now. And that's what's going to happen with the USP. Pasha with the Nova, which was taken out of the fingers of Guardian at long. That's a lovely shot. Seized was tagged up pretty, uh, pretty significantly, I should say. Still, nice play from Pash. He pulls out his P250. And he did so because he was checking mid and he realised that the Nova had nowhere near enough range to pick off a player. It's a P250. If you get a headshot, it's going to do the work. And in doing so, he left himself very vulnerable. He's caught with his pants down around his ankles. And Na'Vi get that 14th round on the board. So the buy-up, maybe the last chance saloon for VP comes in.
and they are going for an all out B. Everybody over on this side of the map. They haven't quite thrown the dice just yet. But it's looking likely here as Taz is going in. Two players on platform, one of which was Edward. He's been taken down. The other player was Flamey. And they go back and forth on Frax. Three on three. Pash has been spotted from Zeus. Drops down, does get the kill. Assist is stuck in drop zone because of that Molotov. That was very well placed. And Guardian in kind is stuck in drop zone. So this should be, on paper, in theory, around to Virtus Pro. But how many times have we thought that already this evening? This game has been anything but textbook. I'm going to be boosting through drop zone. The idea here is that Seize is going to get into long and try and get the opening pick onto Neo. But it's Neo that takes down Guardian. So that plant is pretty much dead before it started. And now Seize is going to be looking for entry Franks. And these are all going to be so, so painful for Virtus Pro. We're desperately trying to get some economy on the board. The AWP is going to get picked up, but the bomb is going to kill Seize as he drops down. But he had no other real option. He was surrounded by players. And so VP do pick up the round. And they get themselves an AWP going forward here. So they're going to have a full buy-up. Na'Vi could drop a few pistols. From Flame. You had 7k. That's what's going to happen. And they're going to have a mag. 7 as well. On to Edward. Who's going to be taking that weapon. Well, I think he was caught in two mines. Originally, he was thinking about going down mid and changed his mind to go along instead. Did we see another comeback from VP? It could be doable. It certainly could be doable. They picked up the first two here. I'm not going to get too excited about this round. It is an eco bash after all. They have one weapon. It's the Mag 7 that is pulled out from Edward. And does work in mid. On to Neo. The bomb's going to go towards B, courtesy of Snacks. And they are going to keep the AWP and 3 AKs alive and kicking. Unless uh, Edward pulls out something miraculous with the Mag-7 and the USP. Which I just don't see happening. 23-21 HLTB confirmed. I wish. I wish, Zimrena. I wish. That would be amazing. It could be poised for a, an overtime. It would go into overtime, guys. We have to have an out-and-out -out winner today on this map. I would love as much CS action as possible. We're just going to have to wait and find out. This is going to be the 25th round going the way of the polls. It will be 14-11. They've lost one AK. And more importantly for Na'Vi, that's one more AK kept in their grasp. Maybe not for too long. Taz is moving into position. He sees the gun just peeking out. And there's the one click. The execution kill. Just as the round ends, just to rub salt on those wounds. Thanks, Adam Henry. Appreciate it, dude. Glad you're enjoying yourself. If you guys are, hit the follow button. Be awesome to see some friendly faces back here in the future. Now. It looks like Verse Pro are going to be shifting gears instead of going to B, which they've done pretty much 90% of the time, I'd say. This time it's more of a mid centric push. They're going for the boost. And uh, Pash is trying to just spot a cross up. He does see a player momentarily. He gets the shot there as he's flashbanged. It's one of those smile frags where you don't know if you've killed somebody until the flashbang is gone and then you see your name up on the board and you just have a. A little cheeky smile to yourself. That's what he just pulled off there. And Virtus Pro will be feeling the same way as they suddenly find themselves in a 4 and one Flamey has himself an M4. No defuse kit, no grenades, and no life. 12 to 14, and this could be another eco for Na'Vi. Cheeky Nandos. <laughs> I'd love a cheeky Nandos right now. Wait, did did Edward just get knifed in the back down to 28 HP? I looked at chat and then I just heard the, the knife noise. And Edward's down to 28 HP. So that's, I mean, that's awful. He's got a 5-7. That's not a, a position you ever want to be in right off the start. So Na'Vi uh, shooting themselves in the foot this round. 
They've given up the site. It's been planted from Virtus Pro. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. That is going to be demoralizing. There'll be a couple of words exchanged between the players, I'm sure, after that one. It was an eco round anyway, so it could be a whole lot worse. And there's going to be an exchange of frags. It was Zeus. Zeus, the scumbag, who put the knife in the back of Edward. Bad guy Zeus, report. Oh, please. Nicely done by Guardian. He's going to keep an, uh, an AK going forward into the next round as he does get a uh, smashed off. The oh, I say he's going to take it. Yes, he will. He will take it. Thought Taz might have him. Thought he might have him. Team life direct result of no cheeky Nandos. That's it, Wib. Zeus denied the Nandos and then knifed his teammate in the back. Just to assert dominance. Fourteen thirteen. Buy up round from Navi. And this really is absolutely huge for them. They have to win this round. If they don't, they could very well be back on some form of force buy, which would not be fantastic. But it's this the psychological edge that Virtus Pro would be getting, and confidence just growing and growing. Taz has been the first player to be picked up this round, so maybe that's going to give Navi. The advantage they so desperately require to take it into map points. You know, going right down to the wire, ladies and gents. They certainly could go to a tiebreaker. I'd personally love to see that one happen, but I'm sure those of you that have bet on the game are hoping for anything but that. You know, going through on platform. Smoke in hand. Going to be smoking over. Trying to smoke screen. The B sites, they can look to push on this one. But interestingly enough, the bomb is still in mid. So this is a diversion, I think. is a diversion tactic that is being used from Virtus Pro. Meanwhile, it's frags on the other side. On B, look at Neo just darting out of drop zone. And he gets himself a kill onto Flame. He, these are huge kills. I already said, this is a huge round for both teams. And Pasha takes down C's. That's going to be the bomb plant. And Edward must be face palming so hard. He changes the cross from his knife to his AK just in time there. As Neo was lurking. And with a grenade landing by his feet and the bomb planted being chanted in his ears. Edward realises the chances are slim to none and he will be saving the AK-47. So that force bite, the inevitable force bite that comes in next round from, Ver to, from Na'Vi, I should say, is going to be a bit beefier. And that's of course assuming that he does hold on to the AK-47. If your stream's lagging, guys, refresh Twitch. It could fix the issues for you. I'm not dropping any frames, so it's not on my end. He does save it and gets a kill as well onto Neo. So that's it's a pretty important moment there. You can see what difference that makes. Allows him to get an extra weapon. In turn, allows Guardian to get his AWP and more grenades across the board. So that weapon really was pretty massive. I can't emphasize enough that AK-47 could make all the difference for Na'Vi. But as Pro, meanwhile... You can see identical buys of uh, grenades. Five Molotovs, five flashes, five smokes, five HEs. And they're going to be looking to do the business on to B. At the moment, it's just Edwards that stood there. And he's been flashed so much. But there is a player behind him as well. It's Edward and Flamey. This combo once again who is just opening up and keeping the terrorists at bay. Yali and Pasha. Can they channel something huge? It's not looking likely. Although Pasha does find himself in a 1v4, but three players are tagged down. First of which is Zeus. He's been put six foot under. Tiger's on 12. And by Tiger, I mean Edward. That's going to constantly catch me off guard. And seized on 39. So Pasha, although it doesn't look good, if he can get the frag onto Guardian, this is extremely doable. Flash is over. There's a second kill. But there's strength in numbers. And Na'Vi get their 15th. One map point to Na'Vi. <laughs> His name's Tiger Edward. He so catches me off guard. The good news though for Virtus Pro is because they've won quite a bunch of rounds. You saw there five rounds in a row before Na'Vi pulled one back. They got a lot of funds to play with. So it's an easy enough force bite 
I'm not saying force bite, it's not even that, it's just a straight up bite from them. So, no huge deal as far as they're concerned. Overtime or Na'Vi win. Those are the only potential scenarios that we face. It's came down to this, ladies and gents. We thought it would be a close map, and it's definitely proved to be just that. Na'Vi. They have fended off the onslaught for the first half of this round, but it's the business half that really counts. Taz, by himself, lurking on the B side. The rest of his team are filling in the blanks elsewhere. And it's the terrorists who claim first blood and break the deadlock on this one. But Flamey comes right back with a frag of his own in mid and now pulls back towards long. Snacks a Neo here. 38 seconds. Flashbang through. That's going to keep Neo at bay for a few more seconds. Buy up a bit more time from Na'Vi. And now the push is coming in. Molotov thrown over. That's going to land right by Flamey. He's going to have to move. There we go. But Guardian gets the frag with the AWP. And Neo gets picked off from Zeus, so it's all on Bjarli. And he's not going to be able to do anything. Na'Vi take it 16 to 14. Which for all of you betters out there means that it's 1 to 1 on score.